Our brand new channel is now up. You'll find the link in the description of this video. I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my new channel, so you'll be notified when I upload new videos there. During the Kargil War, it is believed that enemy artillery did the Indian Army severe damage. A recent study also found that, from 2014 to 2019, artillery shell explosions caused 80% of injuries. It was difficult for Indian soldiers to advance and replenish because Pakistani forces had taken positions on high terrain overlooking important roadways and supply lines. One of the factors that contributed to the ferocity and devastation of the Kargil War was the extensive employment of artillery. Pakistani forces targeted Indian soldiers and disrupted their operations with a wide range of weaponry, including artillery, mortars, and machine guns. In fact, artillery was an essential component of their plan to assist their forces who were operating on the ground. Pakistani artillery units, including howitzers and mortars, fired at Indian positions across the line of control and in the surrounding areas. The persistent bombardment made it impossible for Indian soldiers to move about and function in the region. Artillery rounds did major damage to civilian areas and infrastructure, and the shelling continued for an extended utilized time. Artillery was also utilized by Indian forces in reaction to assaults by Pakistani forces. The artillery deployed by Indian forces was especially successful in driving Pakistani soldiers from their fortified positions on the high-altitude ridges. The use of Bofors howitzer weapons by the Indian Army was especially successful in neutralizing Pakistani positions since these guns had a short reaction time and were known for their high degree of accuracy. This 80% Indian Army casualty rate may have been reduced to some extent if the armed forces had been equipped with specialized weapon-locating radars. While Pakistani troops used American Firefinder radars, India on the other hand had only British Cymbeline mortar detection radars, which proved ineffective in Kargil. So, what exactly is a weapon-locating radar? A weapons locating radar is a type of radar system that is used by the military to find and find the positions of enemy artillery, rockets, and mortars. Weapon locating radar systems are made to show where incoming projectiles are, how they are moving, and where they will hit in real time. There are many different kinds of the systems, such as mobile, stationary, and systems that work on different frequency bands. Some modern weapon locating radar systems are also connected to other sensor systems, like unmanned aerial vehicles, to get a more complete picture of the battlefield. India has also made a mobile artillery locating phased array radar called the Svati Weapon Locating Radar. This counter-battery radar is made to find and follow incoming artillery and rocket fire to find out where the fire is coming from. How does the Svati Weapon Locating Radar works? Svati Weapon Locating Radar employs electronically scanned phased array radar that sends and receives radar signals using many separate antenna elements set up in a grid. Each part of the antenna is controlled electronically so that the radar beam can be pointed in a certain direction without physically moving the antenna. The system works by changing the timing of the radar signal at each antenna element with phase shifters. A phase shifter is a circuit or device that changes the phase of a signal without changing its frequency. Without a phase shifter, the radar beam can't be electronically steered, and the radar can only find targets in one direction. By adjusting the phase shifters in real time,
the radar beam can be rapidly and accurately directed to track moving targets such as aircraft, missiles, mortars, rockets, and artillery. This type of radar system has several advantages over traditional mechanical scanning radar systems. For example, electronically scanned phased array radars can provide faster scanning and target tracking and improved accuracy. They can also perform multiple functions simultaneously, such as air defense, air traffic control, and weather monitoring. Inspired by Akash missile radar, Svati Weapon Locating Radar was developed. The Svati Weapon Locating Radar was developed to provide early warning to ground forces. One unique thing about the Svati system is that it can track both friendly and enemy fire. This is done with the help of advanced algorithms that can tell the difference between different types of projectiles and correctly figure out where they came from. By keeping track of where friendly fire hits, the system can make the necessary adjustments to make sure that future fire is directed correctly and doesn't hurt people by accident. The Svati Weapon Locating Radar uses advanced algorithms that are based on a mix of signal processing techniques, mathematical models, and machine learning algorithms. These algorithms take into account things like wind speed, air temperature, and atmospheric pressure that can affect how a projectile moves through the air to compute incoming projectiles accurately. Even in electronic warfare scenarios, it is able to locate and track incoming projectiles. The radar is designed to locate projectiles with a small radar signature or cross-section across the battle space horizon, and it can handle fire from multiple weapons at the same time. The radar is built for great mobility, allowing for rapid deployment as well as decamping. Now that we know, what the Svati Weapon Locating Radar is supposed to do, let's see how it works in a hypothetical situation. Let's say that an enemy fired an artillery shell at the position of the Indian Army. When a projectile is launched, it creates a unique radar cross-section that can be picked up by the phased array radar. In case you didn't know, radar beams can travel at almost the speed of light. The radar beam is then sent towards the incoming projectile, and when it hits the projectile, it is reflected back towards the Svati weapon locating radar. Then, the computer in the Svati radar looks at the radar signature to figure out where the projectile is, how fast it is moving, where it is going, and other information. The algorithms also take into account a number of environmental factors, such as the speed, and direction of the wind to accurately calculate the path of the projectile. To track the incoming projectile, the phased array radar continuously scans the sky using its electronically steered radar beam in a specific direction. It detects the projectile multiple times and determines its changing position and velocity. Once the Svati radar has computed the trajectory of the oncoming projectile, it can warn the Indian Army in real time of the location and direction of the incoming fire. This information can be used to direct counterfire or to get away from incoming fire. This is why weapon locating radars are so important in a tactical battle area. And these systems may have helped save some lives during the Cargill War.